Chapter 1 of The Imitation of Christ Anyone who follows me shall not walk in darkness, says the Lord. These are the words of Christ, and by them we are reminded that we must imitate his life and his ways if we are to be truly enlightened and set free from the darkness of our own hearts. Let it be the most important thing we do than to reflect on the life of Jesus Christ. Christ's teaching surpasses all the teachings of the saints, and the person who has his spirit will find hidden nourishment in his words. Yet, many people, even after hearing scripture read so often, lack a deep longing for it, for they do not have the spirit of Christ. Anyone who wishes to understand Christ's words and to savor them fully should strive to become like him in every way. What good does it do, then, to debate about the Trinity, if by a lack of humility you are displeasing to the Trinity? In truth, lofty words do not make a person holy and just, but a virtuous life makes one dear to God. I would much rather feel profound sorrow for my sins than be able to define the theological term for it. If you knew the whole Bible by heart and the sayings of all the philosophers, What good would it all be without God's love and grace? Vanity of vanities, and all is vanity, except to love God and to serve only Him. This is the highest wisdom, to see the world as it truly is, fallen and fleeting, to love the world not for its own sake, but for God's, and to direct all your effort toward achieving the kingdom of heaven. So it is vanity to seek material wealth that cannot last and to place your trust in it. It is also vanity to seek recognition and status. It is vanity to chase after what the world says you should want and to long for things you should not have, things that you will pay a high price for later on if you get them. It is vanity to wish for a long life and to care little about a good life. It is vanity to focus only on your present life and not to look ahead to your future life. It is vanity to live for the joys of the moment and not to seek eagerly the lasting joys that await you. Often remember that saying, The eye is not satisfied with seeing, nor is the ear filled with hearing. Make every effort then to shift your affections from the things that you can see to the things you cannot see. For people who live in the world on its terms instead of on God's Stain their conscience and lose God's grace.